So let's now have a look at one of the characters. So let's open the characters folder and from here select any of the characters. I'm going to select Tom, double click on it and double click on the project to open it in After Effects. Now when it is opening, this error would pop up. This is simply saying that it is converting it from an older version of After Effects since we are using this project in the latest version of After Effects. So don't worry about this, simply press OK. Now, this project was made using this very good plugin named Duek, but to use this project on your system you don't need this plugin installed. So in here you can see that we have a warning that pops up saying that we don't have the plugin installed. Don't worry about this, simply press OK and you can use the project without this plugin. And right here we have the project loaded up, so let's see a bit what is included in the project. If we jump to the project window in here, we can find that we have a folder with the name of our character. If we open that folder, we can find three main things, which are the character parts folder, which we will explain at a later stage when we are explaining clothes. Then we have the character studio and the head studio. Basically, these two compositions are what you really need to care about, since most of the work would happen inside these two compositions. So let's jump to the first one, the character studio. And in here, you will find these layers right over here. Now, don't let these layers overwhelm you. It is very simple to use them, so let's have a look at them very quickly in here. The first layer is the character studio. And if we go to the effect controls panel in here, we can see the character studio loaded up in here. So when we select the character studio, it would load up inside the effect controls in here. If that is not open, simply go to window and from here, make sure that the effect controls panel is set to one. So this is basically where you would customize your own character and create your own character from here. Then we have the character animation suite. This is basically the layer that would take care of all of the pre-made animations that we have. Then if we continue down, we have a section for the character rig controls. So this is a section that you would use when you are creating your own animations using the rig. Further down, we have the object controls. We have the then the skirt controls. And finally, we have the character parts. Now, don't worry, we will go through each section of these and explain them in their own videos. So if we jump now to the head studio, in here we will find the head design studio. So the head design studio is the place where you would customize the head. And then you have the head animation suite. And this is the place where you would add facial expression, expressions and animations, etc. And finally, you have the head control and the eyes control. And these once again are used for animation and we would explain this as well at a later stage. So let's jump into the next video where we will create our own character.